Hey, Mom. Yeah. Forgot to tell you, I'm building a saltwater pond in the backyard today. Oh, no, you're not. Yep, yeah, yeah. yep, yes, I am. Thank no. you. Okay. Yeah, we're screwed. First bag of sand, and she goes. The grand reveal of the saltwater pond in three, two, one. Oh, let's go! Today, ladies and gentlemen, is finally the day. The saltwater pond is being built today, right where I'm standing. We changed the location for a better reason, and we'll talk more about that, but we got a bunch to do, so let's hop in the truck and get to it. Well, we got a lot to get done today and not a lot of time because daylight savings. This video is gonna be a bit of a vlog because we have so much to do, so many places to hit, and I want you guys to come along for the whole experience. So first stop of the day is gonna be Lowe's. Let's go. We've arrived at Lowe's, our first stop. We gotta get sod because we need to level out the area. As of right now, it's a bit on a decline, so we're gonna get 10 pieces of sod so we can level that out, and then we need to get filter tubing. We have a bunch of stuff. We need a pond, we need sand, we need an extension cord, we need salt, we need tubing. Comes out to $865, but I have a good feeling that's going up. All right, let's go get some sod. Let's go get some tubing. 75 foot outdoor extension cord. That'll do it. What do we got? $21.98. We're going to tie this up as we go. Extension cord, check. There it is. This is what we need right here. One inch, 20 feet of it. Booyah! Booyah! It's loud in here, but loads. We got everything we need. Let's head to Home Depot. Grand total at Lowe's was $53.33. Minus, I don't know, two bucks for my can of energy. But we're heading to Home Depot now. You guys are coming along for the ride. Let's do it. Get this damn thing out of here. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Just an excited fish guy today building the saltwater pond. Here we go, Kyle. Oh, yeah. To the sand and to the sod. That's where we're heading. We were looking for the sand for quite a bit. We could not find it anywhere. But luckily, we got one. I think 10 is going to be enough to cover the whole bottom of the saltwater pond. So we're going to stack this cart way up full of sand. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five. And we need a heck of a lot more. Let's get going. That's all 10 bags. I'll do the math when I get in the car. Let's go. Wowee. That's a heck of a lot of sand right there. Look at all that. We're moving so the pond's coming, baby. Let's go. <laughs> okay, the final damage to the credit card for 10 bags of sand and 10 pieces of sod is $101.12. We're raking it up, y'all. Got a call mother. Hopefully she answers. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Forgot to tell you, I'm building a saltwater pond in the backyard today. Oh, no, you're not. Yeah, yep, yeah. yes, I am. Thank no. you. Okay. Yeah, we're screwed. All right. Currently, this is what the bed looks like. Bunch of sand. We actually picked up some salt and we got a bunch of sod. I don't know how, seriously, how this pond is going to fit here. I think that's it. Way right there. Let's go see this pond, guys. This thing is huge. I already see it in the distance. This is, I don't know how we're fitting that's this in here. That's not, that's not, that's we got ratchet straps, though. That's it. That that's is it. it. That is it. I'm telling you, that's it. If that's not it, that is it. Because I'm changing my mind. I want the bigger version. Let's go. We might got a problem here. We might have a serious problem here. This is the 8x2. Oh, uh, that's massive. I don't know if that's fitting in the truck. We're really thinking about this here, guys. 700 gallons compared to 400 gallons. Obviously, go big or go home. What I told Kyle is, if it fits, it ships. If it can fit in here, we're gonna ratchet strap it. We're gonna take it home. Guys, this thing is massive. When I, I'm telling you, when I look up at it, it's it's towering me. This thing is huge. It towers me and I'm 6'4". Kyle's 6'4", and it towers him. Why don't we go stand next to it? Come on. That's a big fish right there. That is Kyle with the pond there. Um, I'd say we'll be able to house some pretty big fish, some big sharks, some big groupers, some big snappers, you name it. We're putting it in this pond, guys. I'm freaking stoked. Let's figure out how to get this thing in the truck, though. Here she comes. Have mercy. I think it's huge. Now to get it in the bed is the problem. Guys, I am not kidding when I tell you this took an hour and a half to figure out how to ratchet strap this. We're fish guys here. We're not ratchet strappers. We're loaded down the sod, the sand. 
the pool. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. The pond. Look at that puppy right there. That's our pond. Let's head home. But first, Fish Guy Shop right here, now shipping worldwide all across the world. There is a bunch of demand for it, and the Fish Guys are bringing it to you. Worldwide shipping, head over to fishguy.shop. Use my code FishGuyJack to save you 10%. Fish Guys all across the world. We're trying to make everybody happy. Love you guys, see you at the house. We quite honestly could have picked the worst road to come on. We are on a dirt road <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. No phone service. 0.5 miles to go. With another 0.5 miles to go. Off this road. I think we might have to turn around. Right. I don't know. Pray, Pray for us. Oh. Pray for us. Pray for us. Sheesh, I don't know how we made it back safe and sound, but somehow we did. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We unloaded the pond. We got it in the area. We have all of our sod here. We're going to go ahead and lay this sod out on this side of the pond underneath it. Because if you kind of look at it, it's a bit on a slant like that. So we're going to do that tonight. Obviously, it's getting too dark. So that's going to be it for today. And then we'll be picking up the camera tomorrow morning. I'll see you guys bright and early. It's the next morning and it is time to start construction, you guys. We pretty much have the pond level as much as we can get it. Now, it might not look the best because you can see a bunch of sandbags but we're gonna set up some landscape around this thing we're gonna lay some pavers around it we're gonna make this thing look really nice so we got it leveled which is huge we put some big giant sandbags under there i think we ended up using about nine or ten of them but now we pretty much have it leveled for the most part. It might be a little bit higher on this side, but once we add water to it, we're thinking it's gonna sink down hopefully about a half inch, which is all we need. As you look at it, it looks extremely bad since you can see these big sandbags. So we're gonna put some pavers, we're gonna put some landscapes and bushes all around it. And that's where my mother is gonna come into play because that's, a, that's her cup of tea. That's where she's good. And we're gonna make sure that this pond looks good because she's nice enough to let me put it inside of her backyard. Here's our leveler thing, as you guys can see we are just a smidge off we need this side of the pond to come up just a little bit but like i said we're hoping once we add water this side is going to sink down a little bit so we got the pond finally leveled you guys it is time to add some sand we're going to put a pretty nice coat of sand along here because we're going to get stingrays we're going to have sharks and we're going to have some big fish swimming inside here that's gonna murk up the pond a little bit, or not really murk it up, but they're gonna shift the sand around and I don't wanna be able to see the steel tin can is what we're gonna call it, ever in the water. So we're gonna go bag by bag, let's get it going. So what we got here is some play sand essentially. It's 50 pound bags, I think we got like 16 of them. Graded and washed for use in sandboxes, garden, pet areas, ice, yada, yada, yada. We've used it in literally every single one of the saltwater ponds we set up, and we're gonna use it inside this one. First bag of sand. In she goes. Oh, dang. That actually did a lot. Wow. That actually did a lot. That's a, I mean, that's a lot of sand once you shift it around. That's a good amount of sand. The ticket's gonna be, when we fill this pond, is to put a sock over the hose. That way it doesn't get murky, but we got a lot more sand to add. So then we can start filling, because it's gonna take a while. 700 gallons. This is the best thing we've literally ever bought, this gorilla cart right here. We've been gorilla carting nonstop. It was, we were at Home Depot at six o'clock in the morning this morning. We're gonna keep adding some sand here. All right, bag number two. Here we go. Ugh. Holy crap. Two bags? Two bags. You already got a quarter. Two bags. We already got a pretty good amount. Let's go to the truck. I'm going to show you how many more we have. So yesterday we picked up, I don't know how many bags, but I think it was 10. Today we picked up 11 more. Here they are. Right here. We got a bunch of them. We're going to load them up inside the gorilla cart one by one. And then we're going to take them to the pond and lay them inside. Guys, I'm freaking excited. We also got to put a bunch of salt in there and a bunch of water, set up the filter, saltwater ponds here, and it's a damn good day. All right, you guys get the gist of what we're doing. We gotta fill this thing with sand, baby. Let's do it. We got all the sand inside. Take a look at this, guys. The pond is coming to life. Look at that nice layer of sand there. It's super fine sand and I honestly love the color. It's extremely, extremely natural and I love that. Up next, we gotta lay some rock in there, give these guys a nice little rock structure, but look what, look what I found over here. We found this piece of driftwood. God, I don't even know how long ago, but it is such a nice piece. And what I'm thinking is, is I'm gonna put it in the pond over here. Now, we're gonna try and make it happen. It's obviously gonna float, but imagine that nice piece of driftwood just like right across the middle of this pond i think it would just be the icing on the cake cherry on top ladies and gents i finally found my leftover rock and you know what i thought i had a lot more but this is just at least good to get started i'm probably going to take a lot of the rock from a tank inside but at least 
this gets us going. X marks the spot. This is the dead center of the pond. So this is really where we're gonna probably end up putting our rock structure, just around this area. Adding rock to the pond is very good because it helps filter the water. Live rock is an essential to keep this pond on its feet and healthy. Wow, all right, yeah, we need a lot more rock. That ain't even funny. That ain't even funny how bad that looks. Listen, it's my pond and I'll, I'll, I'll tell it, I'll tell myself that it looks bad. Like, come on. The thing is though, I'm gonna have stingrays and sharks. That's gonna be my main thing. So I don't really need much of a cave unless I do get a grouper. So it might be look better if we kind of spread them out around the whole entire pond. Let's try that. Right, now having it like this, at least it takes up a little bit more room. I mean, I know for a fact, I'm gonna need to at least get another 70, 80 pounds of rock. I've already am over a thousand dollars into this pond. So if you guys could leave a like on this video, that would be amazing. But definitely gonna need more rock. But you know what? That's something in the future. We can't forget about our 4,000 gallon fresh water. Got to make sure they stay nice and fed. Here we go. Here come the koi. Little bit of breakfast food for these guys. And there they go. Everybody's going to start eating. Eh, one more for good luck. There we go. Rain and food this morning. We got the 4,000 there and we have our saltwater pond here. We're really turning this place into just a huge fish house. This right here is the most important thing on having your pond be clear as soon as possible, putting a sock over the hose. This way the water's not just smashing into the sand. This will at least break up that hard pressure into kind of like a trickle. So it's time to add water to the pond. Oh yeah, the hose is in and it's time to turn it on, baby, let's go. Full blast, baby, let's go. I think we should be filling. Yes, we are filling, you guys. The saltwater pond is getting filled with water as we speak. It's gonna take an extremely long time, but here's a clip of it, enjoy. Oh baby, the tin can is officially filled and we have our first bit of sunlight on the pond, you guys. Holy crap, she is filled up. Eight feet across, you guys. This is a lot of space for a lot of big sharks, for a lot of big fish, baby. In order for this to be a saltwater pond, we have to add a lot of salt. This way our fish can survive. And let me tell you what, we got a lot of it. Now, but first we needed to chlorinate. Let's do this. Oh yeah, this, this bottle right here treats 1,000 gallons, so it totally does not hurt to just go ahead and double it. Realistically, that's probably about 600 gallons of water to the level I have it at now. That thing does 1,000 gallons. You know what? It ain't gonna harm it. You might as well be sure that you got no chlorine in that water. Now I've got the filter, I've got the tubing, and I have the pump right here, so I need to figure out how I'm gonna assemble all this. I did go to Home Depot this morning. I got a splitter for the extension cord. I got some stuff here to drill into the side of the pond. That way we can keep this hose nice and flush on the side. Couple of these right there, some screws. We got a lot to do, but let's hook this filter up. Let's get it running, then we're gonna add our salt. Ugh. All right, it's time to dive into our pump here. We got a nice one here, 2,700 gallons per hour. Look at that bad boy right there. It's gonna be super easy to assemble. Gonna take this adapter right here, screw it in on the top, just like that, all the way down, nice and snug, Ooh, perfect. Then I'll take the hose, put it over here, and take one of those rings that I have and attach it. That way it stays completely tight and it'll never come off. So we're gonna take this hose, attach it to this pump just like that, and then we're gonna take this adapter right here and put it around, tighten it down nice and tight with a flathead, and this way this will be completely secure. You guys will see just in a sec. And just like that, we have the tube very snugly tight to the pump right there. Now I am gonna need to trim this off. It's not very sharp, but I don't want a fish swimming by and bink it'll just go give it a nice scratch on the side. But this is obviously extremely secure, so we can actually go ahead and add this into the pond. I have a brick right there for it to sit on, that way it's not sitting on the sand, sucking it all up. Just like that, you guys. Hopefully it's gonna stay exactly where I keep it. It might shift a little bit. I might need to put two or three bricks there to keep it nice and tight. But I think the number one problem that we're gonna have with this pond is algae growth. It's gonna be a Big, big problem since it is half in the sunlight, only for about four hours a day, which is good. It'll keep the water warm in the winter, but I think algae might be tough. All right, now it's time for the big girl right here. Come on, there she is, the filter. Probably the most important part to a pond. Uh, welcome home, big girl. You're right there. 
Oh yeah. So we've got a UV light inside of this big filter right here. That way it zaps all the algae that's floating in our pond. Guys, look at our saltwater pond here. Are you kidding me? But I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing up with all these connections, get it all tubed up and get it ready for running. We got this bad boy all plumbed up. We ran the pump down through here on one pipe, attached the clamp here. Then on the outtake, we got another clamp up and down. And here's what I did to really secure this right here. I drilled with a drill bit through the steel bin and then once I got my holes there I put my screws through, attached my clamp, put my washers and my nuts down and now we have this perfectly snug fit outtake that's just gonna pump and we're gonna have a circular flow here straight back into the pump in the corner. I really don't know what's left other than plug this pond in and add the salt and we're ready to rock and roll. The moment of truth. We're plugging in the pond here, guys. I ran the extension cord all through the bushes here and we have it right here. All we gotta do is connect the green to the orange and this bad boy should kick on and the saltwater pond is officially running. The grand reveal of the saltwater pond in three, two, one. Oh, let's go! The pump is on and it's still on the brick, which is amazing. We can hear this right here filling up with water. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Woo, come on, get chucking, get chucking. She's burping, she's burping. Here she comes. There she blows. It's still trying to get a lot of the air out. The saltwater pond is officially running. Take a look inside here. Look at that propeller moving. The pump is running. We got the water flowing through here. Going into here, the UV light is currently zapping it and it's getting pumped straight back out, making a perfect whirlpool of filtration. We did it, guys. We did it. In order for this to be a saltwater pond, we do need to add salt to it. So I'm gonna take a lot of this, add it to the water, mix it all up, and add it to the pond. You guys get the gist of it. You don't need to see me put, you know, 200 pounds of salt inside of the pond. So once it's all in, it's gonna be extremely murky, but it's officially called a salt water pond. Before I give you the grand reveal of the pond, I want to let you guys all know that Fish Guy Shop is now shipping worldwide all across the whole entire world to make as many fish guys as happy as possible. You guys can use my code FISHGUYJACK to save you 10% at checkout. Every single item we sell removes trash from the ocean. There's a whole bunch of shirts and hats to browse on there. Get them quick because we're almost out of stock. Trust me guys, we're going to have a big restock coming soon, but it's almost out of stock. And now guys, the grand reveal. Here it is. The water is officially crystal clear. As you guys can see, we got really good oxygen inside here. We have extremely good current. And by tomorrow, this pond should be crystal clear. Now there's still a lot of work to do to it. So be sure you subscribe to the channel and put that notification bell on so you guys get notified as soon as I upload. We still gotta put fish in here, sharks, all that stuff. So you don't wanna miss an upload. There's a bunch of landscape coming and so much more. I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for the support. The saltwater pond is finally here. It feels good to say, and I'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out.